So what's next for Kilpatrick? He will be released, but his convictions still stand. Exactly. A local four defender Karen Drew looking into this difference between a commutation and a pardon. Karen? Well, Devin, Kilpatrick was hoping for a pardon, which would mean a complete dismissal of the conviction. He did not get that pardon, but he did receive his clemency. So that means the conviction and the restitution still stick. The streets in downtown Detroit may be quiet, but there's a constant buzz echoing through the latest news about Kwame Kilpatrick. I want him to do all of his time. All of it, not, not some of it. The time they gave him was just, it was just over the board, man. It was just too much time. I'm not, he was wrong what he done, yeah. But I feel anybody's entitled to a second chance. This is the official executive grant of clemency for Kwame Kilpatrick from former President Trump. Take a close look. You can see it was signed January 13th. That's a week ago. In it, the former president states, I commute the prison sentence imposed on Kwame Malik Kilpatrick to time served. Also stating, I leave intact the remaining unpaid balance of the $4,779,826 restitution, the $2,400 special assessment, and the three-year term of supervised release with all of its conditions. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, you know, I think most people in the public would agree that we want Kwame Kwame Kilpatrick to um, work and generate income so that he can start paying his debt to the to the city of Detroit. Once Kilpatrick is released and does start to earn an income, his wages would be garnished to pay back the millions he owes. And there are several ways to do that. Of course, this is a, a criminal, a result of a, a criminal conviction. So this goes to the top of the list in terms of his debts but he also has uh, civil money judgments. So here is the hook. Obviously, you have to have an approved uh, restitution plan of payment. If Kwame Kilpatrick doesn't stick to that payment plan, he could find himself in prison again. As you probably remember, we did report that the defenders went down to Texas and showed his lifestyle and how he was not paying his bills, and that landed him in hot water. Meantime, could he run for office? Well, not 20 years after his conviction. So that would be in 2033. We're live in downtown Detroit. I'm Karen Drew, Local 4 Defenders. Uh, uh, Karen, are we hearing anything from, from the Kilpatrick family yet? We did reach out to the family. Um, basically what they are telling us at this point, until Mr. Kilpatrick walks out of prison, is a free man, they are not going to say anything, and they want to mm. have a unified statement. So we still are waiting for that. Yeah. All right, Karen.